So I'm used to seeing a target in the United States of America. I'm used to having to go to the US to go to a target. So you don't know how excited I am to actually be in Canada and actually be in a target store. I mean, I was just, I just did a vlog where I was in target in the United States of America. I, I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm so excited. This is amazing. I have never been in a target in Canada ever be for. So I kind of want to see a movie to lie and I'm just going on Rotten Tomatoes because I'm like, oh, what should I watch to lie? And I don't know. There's so many good choices. There's so many bad choices. I'm going to go on right here, Rotten Tomatoes. That new Will Smith movie, After Earth, which to me, it looks boring. It looks really boring. I have no faith that M. Night Shyamalan can make anything good in his entire life. Pretty much anything since The Sixth Sense has been shit. And it doesn't it doesn't matter that Will Smith and Jaden Smith are going to be in something. That does not mean shit. If they are in shit, then, then, then the shit is going to be the shit. I kind of wanted to see that magic movie, Now You See Me, but after seeing Morgan Freeman fall asleep during the press junket, how good could it be, right? If, if someone's going to fall asleep while your co-star is describing the movie, 43% here on Rotten Tomato, but not as bad as After Earth, 12%. So I think I'm going to go see uh, Fast and Furious 6, which has a 72%. I'm actually actually surprised that actually has as good of a rating as it does because you would think with those movies it's the same thing over and over again with the driving the cars the car crash you the car chase Vin Diesel power worker is the same thing the one thing that I do really think that add to the franchise is the addition of the rock Dwayne Johnson who by the way when I was at Wrestlemania he walked right by me probably like this this far this far apart and now I know how you guys feel when you meet Peter Chow you're like oh my god it's Peter Chow where well, I was like, oh my god, it was The Rock. The Hangover Part 3. Well, I can't go see that. Not only does it have 21% on Rotten Tomato, but they also did not cast me, even though I'm on the goddamn IMDP page. I am not on the goddamn movie. Star Trek Into Darkness. I saw that last week. Very good. Ooh, 87% it says here. Quite good. I would say not better than the first one. On par. That's what I would say. On par. Have you guys seen Fast 6? If you guys have, make sure to let me know what do you think about the movie. Make sure to leave a comment in the underpanty section below because I read all of them sometimes. Not really, but kind of. I do sometimes, but not always. Leave those comments, I read them all. Yeah, let's just go with I read them all. Yeah, I read them all. Go pledge some money if you want me to make a personal video for you. Go to the link in the description part below, my live comedy show. You want me to make a personal video for you? Okay, I make a personal video for you right now. I will say your name, I will greet you, I will be like, hello, whatever your fucking name is. If it's Gren, I'll be like, hey Gren. If your name is Richard, I say, hey Richard. Go to the link description part below. The money's all for charity. You're doing a good thing and you get a Peter Chow video out of it. It doesn't get better than that. So go there right now. I'm not racist, a live comedy show. Link in the description. Print some money, I make a video for you. See you next time. Ciao, outside, motherfucker.